Again, and it's Coach Gurney here. This is phase one of the virtual video training we'll be doing. I'm going to recommend four or five mechanical adjustments. Then you'll make those adjustments in your delivery and send me a video back demonstrating that you've been able to integrate these changes in your new delivery. Ultimately, I'd like to meet with you and do an in-person pitching lesson just to take a final look and make sure that you're on your way to improvement. I do like the fact that you have a big lower half, strong, powerful legs, which is going to help you generate velocity and hopefully endurance on the mound. And you also have a strong upper body. All of these things bode well for you. So that's the game plan. Mechanically, the first thing I see is you're open with this front foot. So this left foot should be even with the right foot rather than starting open because the problem here, Gannon, is you've already flown open your front shoulder. And we don't want to fly open with our front shoulder or our front hip for that matter. So even though you're going to bring it forward, A, you're starting open, and B, when you do have runners on base, you're not going to be this far open. Next, as you get to the balance point, and by the way, your eyes right now should be on the target, and they're looking down. So eyes on the catcher's glove. So that's item number two. As you get to the balance point, you do a nice job of getting your knee up, but check out what's going on with your glove here. At the higher levels, which would even be high school, you're showing the third base coach and the runner, but more importantly, the third base coach who's giving signals to the batters, your grip on the ball, and he could very easily verbally cue the hitter what's coming. Four seam fastball, curveball, change up. So let's turn the glove vertical. Right now it's horizontal, and you've turned it inside out. Let's turn it the other way and get it vertical. So that's number three. I do like your knee height here, but I want to let that leg dangle down. So what I mean by that is right now your leg is in this direction. I want it to be in this direction. And this foot should be dangling down rather than pointing up to the sky. We don't want any tension. All right? Next, as you go to foot plant, you do a nice job getting extension. I mean, for me, this is the highlight of your delivery right here. I mean, this is excellent. Nice extension. You get the glove out and the ball out. Ultimately, we're going to want to tuck this glove, Gannon, into the armpit area. And as you'll see, you don't do that. But this is really good right here. You let the glove drop by your waist. And I'm asking you to bring it right here to your pectoral region, your left pec. Okay? Because if you tuck that glove, you're going to be even better posture. But this is, this is solid posture. And then I want to see you hold this position longer. Because you come through this really quickly. So the biggest thing here is the glove tuck. You're at your left knee. It should be in your left pectoral or armpit region. And I'd like to see you, if possible, get this leg stiffer. It's bending and collapsing. And you don't hold this posture long enough, you quickly fall forward. So this is what we call the high V position. And ideally, although you've got this V with the rear leg almost, that's why it's called the high V, you fall forward too quickly, all right? So just to review, Gannon, number one, don't start open. Number two, keep your eyes on the target, not at the ground. Number three, as you get to the balance point, I like the high knee, but let that leg dangle down, and let's have no tension in this foot, and let that dangle down, all right? Next, you're showing the ball to the third base coach and your grip on it. 
So let's turn that glove vertical and inside out. As I mentioned, I really like this, but tuck the glove in the armpit region right here, left pectoral region. And last of all, hold, this is great, but we gotta hold this position longer and don't collapse that lead leg. All right, so those are the five items I'd like you to work on. Then send me a new video demonstrating that you've made these changes. Once you do that, we'll then meet in person and work on all of this fun stuff and get you all set. So keep up the great work. I'm going to play this in slow motion. As I mentioned, I love your powerful lower half. Looks like you also have a strong upper half in your frame. And I love your extension, so keep working.